In this part of the video series we will add planar and inline joints to the model. Again, once you think you know how it works, you can fast forward the video. Create a planar joint between front wheel and front jack. Select the front wheel as first body and front jack as second body. Select front jack top point as origin point. Select global Z as normal vector to align the joint normal with respect to Z direction. Repeat the same procedure to create a planar joint between rear wheel and rear jack. Next we create an inline joint between front fork and front shock left. While planar joints or cylindrical joints are rather easy to understand, inline joints are more, let's say, abstract. As you can read in the insert, inline joints allow translation along a single selected axis and all rotations are free. Other translations are fixed. A joint primitive places a restriction on relative motion such as restricting one part to always move parallel to another part. The joint primitives do not have physical counterparts as the idealized joints do. All rotations are allowed. Select front fork as first body and front shock left as second body. Select front fork middle left point as origin one point. Select front wheel left point as origin 2 point. Create another inline joint between front fork and front shock left. Select front fork as first body and front shock left as second body. Select front wheel left point as origin 1.
Select front wheel front fork middle left point as origin 2. Create an inline joint between front fork and front shock right. Select front fork as first body and front shock right as second body. Select front fork middle right point as origin 1. Select front wheel right point as origin 2. Create another inline joint between front fork and front shock right. Select front fork as first body and front shock right as second body. Select front wheel right point as origin 1. Select front fork middle right point as origin 2. Similarly create inline joints for rear shocks as shown in the video.